Hello, everyone. My name is Chen from Google Research. So there have been remarkable success in computer vision over the past decade, much of which can be directly attributed to the application of deep learning. The success of deep learning can be mainly due to three factors. The uh, deeper and powerful models, uh, much higher computational uh, power, and the availability of large-scale label data set. And well, every year we get um, uh, well, every year we get further increases in model capacity and the computational power. Uh, the scale of the data we have is have now scaled accordingly. Why is that? Uh, is the one million ImageNet data uh, set big enough? What happens if we scale up the amount of data by hundreds of times? Will there be plateauing effect? So our paper takes the first few steps towards understanding the relationship between enormous data and deep learning. This is a joint work with Abhinav Christopher-Taba, Sarp Singh, and Abhinav Gupta from Google and CMU. Our paper takes the, of course, the elephant in the room is how to obtain a data set that is hundreds of times larger than ImageNet. At Google, we have been continu continuously working on building such data set automatically. Specifically, we build a data set of 300 million images that are labeled with 19,000 categories, which we call JFT 300 million. The, uh, the images are labeled using an algorithm based on complex mixture of web signals, yet the labels are still considerably noisy. We train residual networks on JFT dataset, which takes around one and a half months. Once the model has been trained, we transfer the model weights and fine tune on target datasets to evaluate the quality of the learned visual representations. So our first observation is that large-scale data helps in representation learning. This is supported by the improved performance on object detection, semantic segmentation, and human post-estimation tasks over ImageNet pre-trained models. Our second observation is that the amount of images and the quality of learned representations exhibit a log-linear relationship. We also found no plateauing effect at 300 million scale yet. It would be interesting to apply SAMI and self-supervised approaches on this data set. Finally, by increasing the depth of the ResNet models, we observed that deeper and bigger capacity models are better at utilizing bigger data. We'd like to mention that there were previous work on training with large-scale data, but they either require manual selection of categories or found saturation effect at a smaller scale with shallower networks. To summarize, we found that better representation learning helps and the performance increases log linearly based on the volume of training data. We also found that deeper models are more likely to benefit from the availability of large amount of training data. If you'd like to learn more about our work, please come into poster number 10. Thanks.